Good morning, everyone. 646, Monday morning. Yep, favorite day. It's 27 degrees. We had our daylight savings time pushed ahead. It's about 14, 24 minutes before sunrise. Everything's quiet. All of today's problems are all festering. They're waiting to come up so we can run head on into them. And then work our way through it. Conquer the adversity. That's what we'll do today. Today we are up in Kingston, New York. Kingston was the capital of New York in 19 in 1777. 20 years later it was given to Albany. I'm going to give my boys a $500 challenge this morning if anyone knows that. So one of those guys could start their week out pretty good with 500 bucks. I don't think any of them know it. I don't think they'll know Pretty sure they'll know it was a capital, but they're not gonna know when it was or for how long it was. So, when they lose that, they get to beat them down a little bit. <laughs> That's always fun as a dad. We are up in Kingston. We did, we were hired to do a tank removal there probably seven weeks ago. We went up there, zero access. We had to go onto the neighbor's driveway in order to do the removal. She said, no, no, you may not. So we did a tank abandonment, entered the tank, cleaned it, water purging back in the hole. So it failed. So now there's a spill number. We have to do a remediation. Homeowner, who's a very nice guy. He's a fan of the channel. That always makes things easy, easier for me when they're a fan of the channel. They tend to be nicer. So he contacted the insurance carrier, gave the claim, put it in. This insurance carrier uh, immediately has to protect their interest. So instead of throwing the money at the homeowner, give them a little bit, you know, 70 cents on the buck here, do the cleanup. They'll hire another environmental company to come out and run their investigation, which was, I'm thinking, I don't know exactly what it was, I know who they are, I guess it's okay, H2M, they're out of Long Island. They're nice folks there. I know the representative who's actually handling this, Zach Sporing, he's a good guy too. He'll be up there, we'll meet with him. He's already been up there and he's done some hand augering to take analysis. Now he probably went up there to take analysis to do an age date which means that the homeowners got coverage but he's only got coverage from a certain time frame most of the time it's 2003 to 2006 that's when this carrier has written their exclusions so he would have to go up there take a sample run an age date on the sample which determines the age of the oil in that soil sample and then it's a plus or minus two years, so a four-year buffer. But when he went up there, he did bores all around the tank. He couldn't find any contamination. So right away, that makes us look a little bit bad. Uh, but I've got video of Mike inside the tank with water purging back through the holes. So that gets back to me always saying, uh, sampling is not a good way to determine whether or not there's an impact there because it only goes alongside of the tank 12 inches beneath the base and you don't always hit a hot area so I hope we don't have we can't have egg on our face there's a hole there so a tank will fail inspection based on two parameters you pull it up out of the ground or you, you leave it in place and it can either fail by a hole in the tank or it fails on contamination of the void. Most of the time, both of those things happen. Because we didn't pull it out of the ground, we don't see contamination, so it failed based on holes in the tank. And keep in mind, I didn't fail it, the building inspector failed it. So, uh, we can't have egg on our face. I don't know why I'm so defensive all of a sudden. Um, 
So that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go up there. Uh, and we had to get authorization from this homeowner to sign off on letting us track on and off uh, her property, her, her driveway, to do this remediation. So we got a lot of moving parts going on up there. This place is over an hour and a half drive away. Ugh. So that's a, that's today. That's a Monday. You know that, that's a crappy job right off the bat. Unless you know, unless there is contamination and we do get coverage for him, or we get up there and it's not that bad and we can button it up. There's some good stuff that can still come of this. Definitely, but this kind of job is like it's perfect for Monday. Put it on Monday. Monday sucks already, so let's throw this on there. So, but I'm gonna meet up with Zach, who probably haven't seen for two years. I guess that's kind of cool. Waiting for the boys. That's about it, folks. Still at 605. It's ridiculous, but it is what it is. We will catch you uh, up in Kingston, New York. Oh, no, actually, you'll, you'll see me challenge the boys uh, to their knowledge with the capital of the state of New York. <laughs> uh, but, You're welcome for the promotion. Yeah, hold on, though. But right now, you have an opportunity to win $500. Everyone here. Two $250 questions. This will get you excited, okay, folks? Now, where are we going today? Kingston. Kingston. What was the special about Kingston? Kingston was special. Especially for us New Yorkers. It was the first. Uh, first. Looks like I'm going to keep my 500. No, it was the first. Uh, um, Albany is the, now the state capital. Kingston was the first. But Kingston was the capital. Correct. Here's your first $250 question. Oh, that wasn't it? No. Oh, no, no, here it is. What, what year? Was Kingston, did Kingston become a capital? What year? For $250. Cash on the pony right now. What year did Kingston? No, 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 no. I don't know why Sam's hiding, but that's what we get with Sam. I mean, uh, $250. If you want to talk amongst yourself to get the answer and then you split the 250, I'm fine with that. When did Columbus sail the ocean blue? Oh, 1776 or something. Black sheep. I don't know. Socially awkward. Two hundred and fifty. <laughs> yeah, and the answer is for two hundred and fifty dollars. I don't know why Sam's not helping. Uh, okay. Eighteen twenty-nine. Incorrect. High or low? Seventeen seventy-seven. Oh, I said 1776 and went close. Wow, yeah, 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 close. All right, here's your other $250 question. How many years was Kingston the capital? 14. Are you going to blurt that out? You're not going to do a group? Well, they can have theirs. Why wouldn't we do That's a group? true. That's true. That's true. Good point. 14. The higher or lower? No. Do you have an answer? Oh, we do. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, what is it? <laughs> Uh, for $250. What did you say? 27. 27? His face got a little brighter when he might say 27. Did he just come up with the year when I got that? It was the third to the capital. No, I looked it up this morning. Oh. Um, 1776. Come on, 34. 34. Sam, do you have a number? 20. 20? It's such bullshit, man. What is it? 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Does that seem right after he walked away like that and didn't participate? <laughs> Sam, you are the recipient of two hundred and fifty dollars cash. That's BS. Right? He's part of our team. I know that. I know that's my. Count? That's my. That's my. No, it well, does count. He's he's, he, a he's a part of the family. He's, he's a part of the family. The last he just got a new job and responsibility with zero pay. So I see. Bonus. 
just got a bonus. There's your bonus. There's your sign-on bonus for being. <laughs> and he was given the the responsibility of watching the tires. Michael was just fired because we're rolling around with a flat tire. So Sam was given the position, but he was given it with no pay, no extra pay. So that's why he was a little grumpy. But there you have it. I was not expecting to give up any money today. Maybe Sam will split that with you. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, no. Okay. Okay, for the people who think that he doesn't, people don't get paid. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 250. All right, there I have it. Congratulations. So that challenge backfired. We got Mopey Popey walks in and swoops in and takes 250 bucks from me. When you, when you wanted to chastise him, that didn't work. And then as we're leaving, we noticed Craig's trailer has a tire low on air. So, but right before Sammy became Mopey Popey, we noticed that one of the inside tires on the Mason dump truck was flat. And I looked around and said, who's in charge of the tires? Everybody pointed at Michael. Michael got fired. And then Sammy now holds the responsibility of that position and uh, with the same pay, no pay raise. So that's why he was a little mopey popey. But then walked in, guessed 20 and got 250 bucks, so. You always want to teach as a parent. That backfired. Plus now I'm out 250 bucks. Do guesses count? Should they count? I don't know. That's not up to pressure yet. Here. Well, we gotta hope the lines aren't frozen. We need a guy. We need a guy here working that takes care of all this. And then we could just pull in and say, Bobby, it's not even put some air in the tire, Bobby. Okay, hey, Wes, we have reached our destination. It's a little bit after 10 a.m. So here is beautiful historical Kingston, New York. That's already lost me 250. I guess this will be our parking right here for our three trucks and two trailers. This is the access for the neighbor's property uh, that we have signed permission from. And the tank is located right here. All right, so I'm gonna wanna shovel and see if there's any curbing here. What up, Zach? How you, brother? Okay, just met with the homeowner. He's a good guy. He's a good guy over the phone. Um, the neighbor is there now. She's in the orange. She's the one that gave permission uh, to utilize her driveway. She didn't have to, so that's cool. So now we're gonna do everything in our possible power uh, to protect this driveway. Obviously, we wanna try to stay off it as much as possible, but I'm being told that the 1,000 gallon tank starts right here 
so if your kid's been paying attention you know it's 11 feet 6 inches long so it comes all the way down to right about here we're being told the middle of the tank is right about there so we are right on the edge of her asphalt driveway so that's why I shovel that clean because if I don't have to hit the driveway I don't want to hit the driveway if contamination goes under the driveway well then that's a different story I've got to get that unless it's you know borderline I'm not gonna dig up people's driveways if I don't have to but oh my god isn't this exciting if you guys don't feel the tension there at home I can't believe that 51% of you are watching me at your computer or on your phone. That blows my mind right there. I could, my eyes would be blurry and be tearing if I had to look at that for that long. That's when you say, Brian, why are you doing hour videos for, Brian? Because it's interesting. I got a lot to say. I ramble. Okay. We're going to finish up these ground protecting mats. Um, Zach, he represents Erie Insurance. It's not all state, it's Erie. Um, he's been hired to come out here uh, and protect the interest of the carrier and to determine if there's contamination. If there is, he'll give that information to Erie. Then they'll look at their policy. They'll do their due diligence and then they'll deny them. That's negative, uh, but that's just what I think will happen. Uh, so yeah, let's not. We, I don't want to overlap these, right? We don't want to overlap. Yeah. That's okay. That's quite a good point. Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna pull the mason dump truck, the empty one, in onto the driveway. I'm gonna dig the eight tons of overburden into the mason dump we'll pull that out of the way then i'm going to pull the tank if there is any contamination i'm going to put it back over here in stockpile where uh, zach is and then tomorrow we'll have a triaxle come and load it out that triaxle right now is just on standby because we don't know how bad it is because mikey and the boys came out to do an abandonment so he entered the tank saw holes and water was purging in so we're also prepared to pump any water if we have to a lot of moving parts Trying to clean as much off of that as we can. Got about 
nine tons in the back of our four ton truck so we're going to pull that forward a little bit try to tickle and get that thing out of here get a swing it up around don't hit the house below the wire over top of this and then down to there and score a perfect 10. got the homeowner looking out the window Corey's going to cut this open now a little more so I can get my bucket in. you're thinking that's that guy so good man under the pressure mm. nothing to it folks all right so there's definitely a hole so we're not going to look bad with regards to that because it did fail based on a hole so zach is going to need to see contamination so that overburden for the whole sidewall here caved in so once we get this tank emptied of the water, I'll push it out of the way so I can track back and start to do some a little bit of digging and some field screenings. But we did not disturb the homeowner's uh, driveway. That's some beautiful dirt up here in Kingston, I gotta say. I'm gonna say that's a hole. So probably if we scraped and cleaned back here a little bit, we would see the same. So that's how much water has purged in. Corey's gotten most of it out. Man, that's weird. Looks like that one hole. There was two more here, but if we scrape it down and stuff, we'll find it. Yeah. And there's two tiny, tiny pinholes for sure around that hole. So that's why you put a striker plate on a tank. Now you measure the tank. So that's where it was going down and smacking that right there. And it, and it weakens the, the polarity of the metal. Mm -hmm. And then that's where it'll let go first. I'm at the right spot right here, aren't I?
So our customer, um, Craig is getting his bat mitzvah. So what we found stolen is a biblical commandment that we do in order. Okay, what a day. What an emotional roller coaster. Is the tank gonna leak? Does Zach have egg on his face? Do we look bad? Is the homeowner gonna be upset? Is the neighbor gonna let us use the driveway? Are we gonna damage it? The kids get bar mitzvahed. I just need a moment alone. I'll cry tomorrow in the shower. It was a beautiful day. A beautiful day. That was a special thing with that homeowner right there. So, I don't know. Kind of in the rankings, in the running for best homeowner. I saved a ton of money. All right. We are finishing up here. Going to make this safe. We backfilled the overburden. We compacted. Still amazing soil here in Kingston. We'll put that like that because we're going to put the fence around it. Just to keep people away from that hole or any puppies, or any raccoons. We'll do a little clean up here. I don't know, hopefully we don't have rain tomorrow. Rain would be terrible. Uh, Leave this trailer right here on the front yard. That's a pretty good backing up. It started to spin. That damn two wheel. And we just fence this all off for now. Uh, we'll fix these mats. What a day, right, Craig? Easy money. What an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Kingston to backfill. Who knows what could happen tomorrow? Good morning, folks. Happy Tuesday. What a festive day yesterday, huh? My nice Catholic boy getting bar mitzvahed. Mikey and Sam, the same. I hope that doesn't confuse God. Corey, yes, what did you feel about yesterday's celebration? It was wonderful. It was wonderful. As long as it makes Nancy happy. Yeah, it did. It. it did. She was extremely happy. Craig, you feel any different? No. You're basically the chosen one right now. I felt that for a long time. All right. Cool. Okay, today is an exciting day. We are getting our... <laughs> he was actually making faces behind my back. Hey, that promo that's on the new videos? It's getting it's going right before the video starts. Oh, it, it does, right? Yeah. Except for Sam not being there. How you feel about that, Corey? You took Sam's spot. Yeah. Got a two what do you think? What do you think Nancy's thinking? Best. As you're walking. That could have been my. That should have been Sammy. 
All right, well, today we get our first bed vibrator. Still not comfortable saying that. But we got four of them. Uh, we're getting it installed today. We just have to pick out a truck, get the bed nice and clean for Johnny, get it over there. That's a lot of decision making and some labor. I think we have chosen this one. We have four, all four trucks are getting the bed vibrators. They were $800 each. He'll be because I'm tired of taking the bucket on the excavator and smacking it. I leave marks and dents in it just to collect a little bit of dirt. Oh, somebody has dropped it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Okay. $147 a month uh, for a pickup every other week and I get that dropped off in front of my dumpster at least break it up for me and put it in nah. it's gonna leave it there leave it there for you Bri cool those are the little things in life you don't let those bother you. Uh, we are headed up to, back up to Kingston to Abe. Nice job yesterday, Abe. Um, I'm going to take five tons. Morning Mike got the new boots he was asking for. Man, do you feel the, the company? We are, bit by bit, we're getting stronger and stronger. Those boots, they put us right over the edge. Sam's got his turkey sandwich still sticking with that diet five tons of that five tons of that we should be done up there probably saved Abe 13 or 14 thousand on that remediation it was good to see Zach yesterday he looks good and that's it another day um, Cleaning up Mother Nature, doing tank stuff. Okay, we have safely made it to our destination, an hour and 32 minute drive. Everything is still intact here. Nobody stole our mats. Let's see if there's somebody inside the void. Or if any water. Very nice. Good. Ah, a little bit right there. So that's going to be like pudding. So we'll put that item crusher first. The boys are about 10 minutes out. Looks like we're going to have some better parking today. We'll backfill our two trucks, clean this place up real nice, and head home.
Here's where the new bed vibrators come in handy. No, let me smash the side of the vehicle. downtime. Ninety five an hour, thirty five an hour, thirty five an hour, thirty five an hour. Bit vibrators, hope they work out.
Okay. This is a feel good job. Great homeowner. Appreciate it, Abe. Very generous guy. Look for that celebration at the end of the video. Um, all said and done here. Saved a bunch of money for Abe. Cleaning up the property now. Homeowner, I'll go knock on her door in a minute, but she'll be happy. We did not damage the driveway. Uh, I left this a little bit high because everything was wet. But that looks pretty darn good. Looks good here. I don't know what it looks like on camera. But the driveway is all undamaged. Sweeping up. We'll clean all that up. Loading up all 22 plates, three mats. We'll make sure the roadway is nice and clean. So the DPW of Kingston likes us. That's some good stuff right there, guys. Some good stuff. We'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate everybody checking us out, liking us, saying wonderful things. Please subscribe. Tell your neighbors. That's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental. Okay. So our customer. Look up your right arm. Um, no, you gotta open up the. Um, Craig is getting his bat mitzvah. Yeah. So what we found sold is a biblical commandment that we do, in order that we're commanded to connect our. This goes off to their heart, which is our emotion, and the head tone goes off their high, our head, which is our uh, thoughts, and we put it on our hand, which is our feet, that means our emotion, okay. thoughts, and thoughts of holiness and for good things. Yeah. You ready? You repeat after me a bracha. A bracha. You ever heard of a bracha before? You ever heard of a bracha? Okay. Yeah, Baruch, keep going. Wow, Baruch, Baruch, Ata, Ata, Adoy, Adonai, Aleheinu, Aleheinu, Mela, Mela, Ba'elam, 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 Asher, Asher, Kedishanu, Kedishanu, Kedishatav, Vitzivanu, Vitzivanu, Lahania, Lahania, Shel, Nam Hanukkah. Tefillin. We're very close, but we're doing tefillin and not Hanukkah. What is? That's all I know. But Purim's coming up, so uh, we're gonna have a party, and you better come with the whole family. You got it. Well, you're showing my mom right now. So we got we wrap seven times. Seven represents nature. Seven days of the week. Seven heavens, seven million bucks you're gonna win. Oh. But, uh, so we do this. This is a biblical commandment that we do for boys over the age of bar mitzvah. This is one thing that differentiates somebody who's 12 years old in 363 days or five, four days and the next day. And you ready? Yeah. Make another bracha. A bracha. Baruch. Baruch. A little love. Atah. Atah. Adinai. 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 Eleheinu. Eleheinu. Melech. Melech. Ha'elam. Ha'elam. Asher. Asher. Kiddishanu. Kiddishanu. Vim mitzvah tov. Vim mitzvah tov. Vitzivanu. Vitzivanu. Al. Al. Mitzvahs. Mitzvahs. Tefillin. Tefillin. So that's the mitzvah thing. God forgive us the commandment. Now we're going to say the Shema prayer, which is the most important Jewish prayer that we have. It's a prayer where we declare that there's only one God above. You ready? We cover our eyes for the first part, so we don't want to be distracted. Repeat after me. Shema. Shema. Yisrael. Yisrael. Adonai. Adonai. Aleheinu. Aleheinu. Adonai. 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 Achad. Achad. You put your hand down. Baruch. Baruch. Shame. Shame. Kavod. Kavod. Machoto. Machoto. Leolam. Leolam. Ba'ed. Ba'ed. Now you get to read from here to there. Hero Israel. Hero, Hero Israel. Lord of God. Lord is one. Bless the name of the glory of the kingdom forever and ever. You shall love the Lord of the God with love all your heart and with all your soul and all your might. Take to heart these instructions which I command to this day, you this day. Impress them for your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the way, when you lie down, and when you get up. Line them as a sign of your hand, and let them serve you as a symbol of the foreheads. Inscribe them in the doorsteps and the house of the gates. Simmentov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simmentov, Simmentov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simmentov, yeah. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Abe, Abe, you'll never get those two to do this. Sammy's got a sweatshirt. Of course he is. Sammy's, doing. Sammy's a good boy. You will not get Michael. <laughs> Listen. Mommy's watching this. Mommy's watching this. She's watching this. She'll be so, she'll be so disappointed. You're righty or lefty? You're also lefties? Oh, wow. My wife's a lefty. Where's my uh, hair? Let me grab my keepy. Good, Good job, Craig. Thank you, sir. Bunch of lefties here. There's a reason for everything, boys. <laughs> it absolutely is, right? 
Baruch. Atah. Atah. Adonai. Lahinu. Malach. Alam. Asher. Kedishanu. Kedishatav. Litzivanu. Lahaniach. Tefillin. So one of the important things I was just explaining to your brother is that with opposite, it's opposite our heart, which is our emotions, opposite our head, which is our mind. And we strive and struggle that our head should control our heart. Many times, unfortunately, you see people, God forbid, that someone has an addiction issue, right? Yes. The heart just wants another drink. But their mind knows that what? They, God forbid, they have another drink, they'll slip up forever, right? Yes. And what happens is their deeds just, you know, they can't uh, control themselves and they just do it. So when we put on the tefillin, we try to, number one, that our mind should control the heart. And number two is that we should use our deeds, our actions, and our emotions for holiness and for good things. And for purposeful things, not just uh, wasty, wasty. Baruch, Atah, Adonai, Lahenu, Malach HaOlam, Asher, Kedishanu, the Mitzvah Tov, the Tzivanu, Al, Mitzvahs, Tzifilin. Thank you God for giving us this ability to take something physical and make it spiritual, which is something really cool. Let's take this, this is leather hide and the scrolls in here from the Torah. And we're able to actually elevate it and elevate us. You ready? So we cover our eyes for the first part, so we don't get distracted. Shema, Yisrael, Adonai, Lahinu, Adonai, Echad, Baruch, Shem, Kivod, Machoto, Le'olam, Va'ed. Hero Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Bless the name of the glory of His kingdom forever. Come on, love. The Lord your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Take to heart these instructions which I command you this day. Impress them upon your children. Talk about them when you sit, at home, when you walk along the way, when you lie down, and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Describe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Twenty-seven years. This is the first time this has ever happened. You get it, Mikey. Probably the hardest thing you've ever done. I'll wear Craig Schmidium. Only good things in life. Really? No, he's a I'm the righty. Oh, big time. You don't even know. Nancy will be crying during this entire... Right here, left. Here we go. Close to the left hand. Right here. Uncle Mike will see this. So, we are attaching our emotions. If you have any in that feel hard of yours, no. But um, with our emotions, our intellect, and our deeds all for holiness and for good things. You ready? Yep. Drum. Let's drop it. Baruch. That is thank you God for giving us ability, a special commandment to put on phone, do a physical deed, and uh, make something spiritual out of it. And obviously everything we do in our life physical, but it's eating, sleeping, working, it all have a spiritual meaning, the purpose is to use the energy that we need to keep up the money that we uh, earn, we need to hold it to the There we go, Baruch, Atah, Adonai, Adonai, Ahinu, Ahinu, Malach, Malach, Olam, Olam, Asher, Asher, Kishanu, Kishanu, Zatav, Vitivanu, 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 so we go, you ready? So we, the first part of the prayer is called the Shema Yisrael, which is where we declare that we only have one God. Being that it's such a holy prayer, we want to be, we want to lock out all distractions. So we actually cover our eyes for that little line, you ready? Shema, Shema, Yisrael, Adonai, Eloheinu, Adonai, Echad. You can look now, Baruch, Shem, Kivod, Machoto, Leolam, Vaed. And here we go, Hero Israel. Hero Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. The Lord is one. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Of the glory. Of the glory. Of his kingdom. Of his kingdom. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. You shall love the Lord your God. 
You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your might. Take to heart, take to heart these instructions, these instructions which I command you, which I command you this day, this day. Impress them, impress them on your children, upon your children. Talk about them, talk about them when you sit them, when, when you, you sit, sit at home, when you sit at home, when you walk along the way, when you walk along the way, when you lie down, when you lie down, when you get up, when you get up. Bind them as a sign, bind them as a sign on your hand, on your hand. Let them serve, let them serve as a symbol, as a symbol on your forehead, on your forehead. Inscribe them, inscribe on the doorposts, on the doorposts of your house. Your house and on your gates. On your gates. Yes. And most importantly, as we saw in the prayer, that it's something that Jewish is not just something in the synagogue or at home, but even when we walk on the streets, we have to walk like a Jew. Proud, etc. You ready? Cemento, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, you. Look at the money I saved on bat mitzvahs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bar mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs, but bat's the girl. That's a girl, yeah. My bad. I mean. I'm, I'm Irish Catholic. Each their own. I feel like You're I'm right? gonna, I feel like I'm gonna burn in hell now. <laughs> that was cool. Wait, I got the parting gift of the cookies though. And the hat. No, I gotta get all the boys. Love to share it. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You made no, I give you a little discount. <laughs> a little discount.